Hello everyone, welcome back to Gidroy Tips and in this video I am going to talk about how to fix. Star Wars Outlaws is having an issue with crashing, it is not launching, won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop and even stuck on loading screen. So the game is available both in the Epic Games and also the users who are on the Ubisoft can also purchase the game. And uh, it is not available in the Steam. The game is not available in the Steam. So uh, I did not purchase the game because I don't know why. Because uh, my card is getting declined every time when I do the purchase. I don't know why this is happening for me quite a while. So I'm not doing this. So uh, if you're having the crashing issue, you can just follow these instructions. And the first one is all about you have to do a simple restart. For this, we just need to go over here in the game, right click over here and go for this one and go for a simple restart. Sometimes, you know, a simple restart can fix a lot of trouble. So you can start with a simple restart. Afterwards, you can move to the next step. That is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So most of us launch the game from over here. Most of us used to launch the game from Steam. So over here, if you're on the Epic Games, we used to launch from here. Sometimes when we are launching the game from the, uh, you know, when we are launching the game from these kind of uh, apps, including Epic Games, Ubisoft, even including the Steam, we'll be having the crashing issue. So it is quite important for us not to launch the game from here. We have to launch the game from the installation folder. So we can navigate to the installation folder, which is quite simple. Just go over here in this one and you can go to, oh, because the game is not installed. So I'll be showing you how you can do this. So regarding launch the game from the installation folder, what we have to do is if you're on the Epic Games, just go over here and select the Star Wars game, not the Valorant. I'm showing you with an example with the Valorant. So don't get confused. Just go over here and right click and go over here in the manage. Or you can just go over here in the installation. Just click on this particular folder. So of, as you can see at the top that this PC, locked C, program file x86, it's program file Epic Games Valorant. So most probably, the game you're downloading will be over here. So it will be over here in the Epic Games folder. You can navigate to the Epic Games. So the folder will be here. For the same for the Star Wars, you can launch the game from here. And also after launch the game, most probably this will be completely fixed. Because for me, this particular did work it. So you can try this out. If that is not the case, we have to move to the next one. That we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So you have to navigate to the Star Wars folder. You'll be having a Star Wars folder. Open the Star Wars folder. Just you'll be getting an application. So right click the application and right click. Go to show more options and go to the properties. Go for compatibility. Click on run this program as administrator and go for apply and go for OK. And also you can go for the next one after running that. If still it's not working, do the same. Go to the properties, compatibility. Uh, you have to go over here and we have to uh, go over here and set this to run this program in the compatibility mode. You can try this one first one to Windows 7 and go for apply or Windows 7 is not working. You can go for Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK. Once everything is set, you can just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to launch the game and you have to press Alt and Tab. This even worked for many users. Uh, for me personally, it worked. So you can try this out. Just launch the game and press Alt and Tab. Next step is all about we have to delete the saved game file. So whenever you are launching the game and try playing the game, you have to navigate to the documents. And over here, as you can see, these are some of the games which I usually used to play, which is American Truck Simulator, Battlefield 2042, which is one of my favorite game, Dying Light 2, Made in NFL. 25 and even if you go on you can see many more including like once human and rockstar which is dt5 so the thing is you will be having a folder same here for the uh, star wars and you can have the folder you can just delete the respective folder and you have to keep in mind when you do this you'll be losing all the progressions of the game so just do like this and you can try from the scratch and even it work it Next one, you have to allow the game to windows security so just go over here in the game and search for the control panel just click on this one and we have to navigate to the system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow and Apport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and we have to navigate to the game. So hence, like I said in the beginning of the video, I could not purchase the game because of my card is getting declined. So I'm going to show you with an example. You can find the game from here and you have to make sure it is marked. Both the private and public both has to be marked. So that is what you have to do. And if that is not the case, 
you can add the game so just click on the change setting go for allow another app go for browse navigate to this pc go to local list c go to the program files and you have to navigate to epic games you can find the game from here so you can find the game just select the folder and you have to add the game once the game is added you have to cross check whether it is marked or not this is what you have to do so most of us in in my knowledge it helped many users you can try this out next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next step that is all about we have to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search search for system configuration we have to search for the system configuration just go over here and we have to go to the services go for hide all microsoft services and go for disable all first let me do this disable all hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay they're gonna ask you for restart so what you need to do is you just need to go for exit without restart it should not be uh, most probably the users who are watching this go for restart but the users for me i'm going for, for exit without restart because we're in the middle of shooting so just do this once afterwards try launch the game either on the ubisoft or you can try over here in the epic games next step is all about we need to uh, unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with a lot of peripherals for example right now mine is connected with logitech wheels etc so we just need to unplug everything once everything is unplugged you can try launch the game once the game is successfully launched uh, launched you can try connect it back and try continue playing the game next one is all about we have to disable the steam overlay that's not for here that's for the users on the steam so you can try this out so uh, the next one you can give the commands in the launch option so this is a very important step even this particular step helped many users in the uh, steam so you can try this out so it is quite different over here for the epic games just go over here in the game go to manage and you can see there is an option for the launch option you have to enable this so enable the launch option so here you have to give the command the first one is dx11 you have to start with the command dx11 if dx11 is not working you have to start with dx12 if dx11 is not working you have to start with d3d2 try with d3d2 either the dx11 d3d2 or dx12 will be working for me uh, in my knowledge for the users who had issue like this in the steam it worked when they gave the command dx11 so you can try this out next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay applications which is quite important so just go over here and go to the task manager and right now as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background so all these things are actually utilizing the performance so we will be having crashing issue launching not launching and all these kind of issues because you know these are running in the background so at the same time when you launch these kind of heavy games you'll be definitely having the issue so it is quite important that you have to remove the unwanted things from here and once afterwards just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the game search for the graphics settings you have to search for the graphics settings and just go over here and we have to find the game so we have to add the game so here i have already added many games including battlefield 22042 even uh, the black with mook wukong everything is added so just go over here and click on the browse now just go over here in this pc navigate to local disk c go to the program files navigate to the epic games you'll be able to find the folder for the star wars open the star wars and add the folder so here i'm adding with the valorant which is just an example just click on this one and you'll be having the folder for the uh, star wars outlaws just click on the option change this one let windows decide to high performance because it will be running on the maximum performance go for the save close this and we have to go back and try launching the game next one is all about we have to increase the virtual memory so just go over here go over here and search for view advanced system setting just click on this one go to the advanced go for settings go to the advanced and go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk go for the custom size which is initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size 3 times the total ram so we need a calculator so just go over here and find the calculator so just type your ram 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and you have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you this one 14 and 152 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it next one that is maximum size 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and you have to multiply it with 3 that brings you 98 304 and you have to copy this so just paste this and once afterward just do this and you have to close this and we have to go back and try learning the game 
Next one, we need to run the game or we have to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description. So just go over here in the official NVIDIA, which I'll be providing. So uh, you can try this uh, because uh, for me, this particular issue regarding the crashing, it worked when I had the issue with Black Ink, Black Myth Wukong. So you can try the same. Just go to the NVIDIA. Over here, you can just select everything. Like if you're on the product type, select this one. If you're on the product series, you can select this one. And uh, if you're on the product, you can select this one. And if you're on the Windows 11, select this one. Go for the language and select everything and go for start search. Now from here, what you need to do is you'll be getting these options. And if you go over, you can see the dial version is 516.94. You can download this one. And if the system is based on over here, you can see you can download this one and install and restart is a mandatory and if you're on the driver i mean if you're on the amd just go over here and select everything like the graphics select the radeon rx go for this one as well go for submit so you'll be getting this option if you're on windows 11 download this one and if you're on windows 10 you can try downloading this one we can also try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus which even work it so just go over here if the system is based on x64 download this one if the system is based on x86 you can download this one and also you can try downloading if you're over here and you can try uh, playing the game most probably that can help you guys out so even after trying with this you have to make sure two things that is one is you have to make sure the windows is up to date so just go over here in the settings now from here we have to go to the windows update and make sure the windows is up to date which is quite important so just make sure windows is up to date and once afterward just go back and try launching the game Next one is all about the last and the least which I always used to say you have to verify integrity of game file. So and also you can try and install the game. So just select the Star Wars game. Go over here and uninstall the game. So you have to keep in mind when you do this you will be losing the game. So try reinstalling it back even though it is quite big you can try because it work it. Try change the position of local list from C to any other new local list. And also if you're having the verify integrity of game file over here if you go over here you can see there will be an option called verify over here you can just go to the manage verify game file so if you're having the option just click on this one for the star wars game and most probably if any files are corrupted and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so you can try this out so these are the possible workarounds which you need to try and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye 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 bye